Now that you have this wonderful D10 Zoom TV, how do you start a Zoom meeting and how do you join one? This video is going to walk you through those steps. It's very easy to do, but just sometimes knowing exactly and being able to see it will help you out a lot. So the first thing is if you want to join a meeting, you'll get that email in your inbox that says here's the meeting ID and here's the passcode. So once you have those two things, you can actually hit the join button and it will pop up asking you to punch in the meeting ID. So you'll go to that email, look for the meeting ID, you punch it in, you hit join meeting. If the meeting has a passcode, which I hope it has, because that's good security, keeps all those Zoom bombings from happening. And if you're not setting one, make sure you do set one. Um, but if it asks for a passcode, it'll on the next step, it'll ask for your passcode. You hit join, and you're right in and in the meeting. So that's the way you join a meeting. Now, if you've scheduled a meeting under your account, so say you have some classes that you're teaching later in the day, um, and you've scheduled them already on your laptop or your iOS device, and they're already pre-scheduled meetings that you've shared out, on the day of the meetings, on this left-hand column when you're logged in, you'll actually see a list of those meetings with a start button. So when you're ready to go for that scheduled meeting, just hit start and it'll boot you right into the meeting and you're good to go. Now, if you want to start a meeting and it hasn't been pre-scheduled, you just want to start one on the spot, you'll see this meet icon. You just tap on that. It'll take you right in and it will start your meeting. So once you're in the meeting, you'll actually see the uh, little display panel at the bottom show up. Again, if you want to see that little panel, you just tap the screen. If you want to hide it, it, it'll hide by tapping the screen. Now, once you tap the screen and see it, after, I don't know, five, six seconds, it will go away kind of quick. So if you need to see that, just tap your screen, and it'll come right back. Now, click on those three dots in the bottom right. So you're going to see this Manage Participants tab. You're going to see a bunch of options, and I'm going to have another video that goes through and shows you some of those. But I want to manage my participants because I just started a Zoom meeting, so I want to be able to get people in it. So I'm going to click on Manage Participants, and you're going to see Invite, Mute All, Unmute All, or More. And under the More, it gives you a bunch of other features. You can lock the meeting, mute participants on entry. Again, I'm going to have another video that shows those pieces. You're going to tap Invite. Now you're going to see a list of all the people in your contacts list that you can invite. And you can just tap on them to invite them. Or you can click the email tab here. And you can go ahead and put in the email addresses of the people you want to send this to. And you'll see when I tap on the two, it pops up with a dialog box, so I, a text editor, so I can actually put in the email addresses of the people I want to invite. The other thing you could also do if you want is really this meeting ID and passcode are the two most important parts. The one click to join the meeting is handy, so that's what's kind of nice about this, but you can always just snap a picture with your phone and then email out that way, because especially if you have a lot of people to invite, it might take a few um, to actually sit here and type in each email address could get a little monotonous and just take longer than you want. The other way you could do it is email this to yourself go on your laptop or your tablet or your phone, and then you could forward it out to everybody that you want to receive that email. But once you send that email out, it will email them, and then they can join the meeting. And once they join, they'll show up in a list here, and you could admit them. Because if you have the waiting room enabled, you have to make sure that you, once they join the meeting, they'll need to be actually admitted, and this is where you can do that. You'll see You'll see a list of all the people as they join with a little admit button. And once you tap that, they're in the meeting and ready to go. To end your meeting, you want to make sure this shows up again. And again, once you are in the meeting, you've got your whiteboard feature. You can control it. You can mute your mic. You can mute your or mute your camera, disable your camera. But when you're all set with the meeting, you just hit end meeting on the bottom right and you tap leave, and that will end your meeting for everybody. I hope you found this video helpful. It just shows you how to either join a meeting or start a meeting on the D10 TV. 
I have other videos that are explaining other features of the D10 TV, so please feel free. And once I get all the videos created here, hopefully in the next day or so, I'm going to actually create a playlist so you can just see a playlist of all the different videos. And I do kind of have one big monster video that goes through and shows every single feature at once in one long 30-minute video, but I know that's not always the most enjoyable to sit and go through it. But if you do want a sense of everything it can do, I would definitely check that video out. Otherwise, if you just need to see how to do a specific thing, these little shorter videos are going to be the way to go because they're just going to show you one quick feature. But again, I hope you found this video helpful. Please check out my other videos. Please hit that like button below. And also hit that subscribe button below so you can stay up to date with all my tutorials as they come out. Otherwise, this is Adam on Tech, signing off.